Alright, I was just asked where are these images coming from and what are we seeing right now? Well, these images are actually coming from SLU as I was tweeting images earlier for SLU nights. These images are coming from the actual SLU online telescope. What I'm doing is usually with this you'd be imaging by yourself using this control panel basically. You'd be taking images by clicking down here on the snap picture and it takes pictures of it. But what I'm doing this time instead of taking images and uh, already uploading them on another website and then tweeting them, I'm just giving you a live feed of exactly how I would be working on it or how I would be seeing it instead of actually saving the images, tweeting them, and uploading them. So you're getting the direct feed as I would be getting it when I was tweeting the images live. Now of course if you don't like this I can always tweet you the images but I thought this would be somewhat better since I don't have to do so much work and I'm actually working on other posts right now. So. If you have any more questions, please do the same thing that Mary just did. Send me a tweet, put them in the comment box, anything, and I'll be able to find it and answer it. If you would like commentary, again, just send me it, as right now we're looking at the Andromeda Galaxy. It's in luminance, and luminance actually means it's clear. There's no filters, there's no color on it, it's just black and white. You can see the main galaxy, M31, or Andromeda, in the center. And then on the side, off to the top right-hand corner, you can see M10, which is actually one of its partnering galaxies. But for now, I will leave you back with the normal noise. also like to say that louder noise that you hear in between is actually the telescope moving. It's taken this image a few minutes ago, there's a delay, and you can hear the telescope moving itself, which is that loud slewing noise, or moving the telescope. And the images actually come from monochrome, which is black and white, then they move on to color, and then the telescope will move and we'll have a new object. So we're on Andromeda Galaxy M31 still, and now it's inside color. And for those of you that have image resolution problems, I'm not exactly sure what you mean, so if you can send me a screen capture show or so, that might be somewhat easier for me to understand and try to fix.